Hey y'all. I wanted to sit here and talk to y'all about something because I want to know what's going on in your state, what's going on in your country. Here, 32 hospitals shut down, leaving us with only one level one trauma hospital in the city of Atlanta. Now, with that being said, with that many hospitals shutting down, can you imagine millions of people out here searching for new doctors? And then when you find a new doctor, let's see, your appointment might be might not be until six months later, right? So let's say you're on insulin. Let's say you're on what other medicine can I think? Let's say you're on metformin, you're diabetic, or you have liver disease, or you have chronic asthma. Anything that you can think that's like chronic, right? And let's say you cannot get that medicine until you get to, to the doctor in six months, right? So what are you supposed to do within that six month period? So, you got to go back to the old folks' remedies like sweet oil for an earache, honey and turmeric, and lemon for a cold, flu, pneumonia, no natural antibiotics, right? And there's certain things that I'm scared to actually say here because you never know who's watching, right? But if you remember what your grandparents taught you as far as old remedies, those come into play now. So now, my next question, if you've made it this far, if you do have a PCP, which is a primary care provider, right? And you go in with more than one problem. Are you being seen for more than that one problem or did they tell you they can only see you for one problem and you're gonna to have to reschedule for the second problem? That's my next question. Next question, if you have a surgery coming up, is it physically gonna be a doctor doing the surgery or a robot doing the surgery? Now, this ain't just about the hospitals cause you gotta wake up people, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Looks like everybody's fixing to be without a job. Everywhere I go, they got AI. If you don't know what that is, it's artificial intelligence. If you go to a drive-through, you've got AI talking to you at the drive-through. Now, let's talk about the robots they have in the restaurants. Does your hometown now have a robot in McDonald's, IHOP, Denny's, we can go on and on and on. Also, have you noticed the AI nurses now at the hospital? Yes, a robot nurse. If you haven't seen it, stop the video here and Google it, then come back to the video. So you've got to start planning ahead of time and then we look at look at um lordy 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 we look at jerusalem jerusalem y'all the home place right and they're at war they're at war And then if y'all look at United States, our borders are wide open. So we've got everybody coming into the borders and some people might question who's housing them. You wanna know? The city police station, I said it. They're coming over the river by foot. They're coming over the river by boat, and they're free to come right on in. Oh, pause it right here and check out the New York hotel that the immigrants have taken over, okay? And 
gotta be careful with my words so i'm not going to use the t word um let's just say guatemala okay guatemala bay um nothing nothing in america is no longer black or white owned unless you have a little mom and pop shop right so you're aware of who owns it and who's to say they don't have something behind the register i'm just gonna leave it at that some food for thought right but um I do want to know those hospital questions and like, how do y'all feel about going to the doctor now? Is this happening in your hometown? I can even speak for Alabama UAB. If I have any Alabama people watching this video, <laughs> y'all know UAB used to be one of the best hospitals there was. Yes. But now, yeah, they talk to you any kind of way. Even if you got an appointment, you might be sitting there two, three hours before you get seen. And it's like, it's just like people don't care no more, right? And lately, when I've been going to the doctor or have to go through the ER or whatever, I, I talk to the staff. I like to talk to people. So, um, let's say I'll ask this nurse, you know, how long have you been employed here? Oh, ma'am, I'm just a traveling nurse. They're, um... They're low on staff. How is a major hospital like this low on staff? You wanna know why? Yeah, I'll tell you what. Because when they came out with that jab, they told everybody at these hospitals, you either gotta take the jab or you're fired. These people have been on their job 30, 40 years, right? And if they didn't get the jab in a certain certain time quota, they were released off the job. Yep. And remember, there was a time when we ran out of the PPP. Ugh, we ran out of PPE, so they was making the staff wear it, wear the wear the PPE over and over and over. Where is our medical supplies? Why do we got this sleepy man at the White House? He does a speech the other day and he has to step away and says he has to go to the situation room. And you're not gonna tell America what that was about? Just thinking with an opening mind and then you got Putin at a meeting the other day with the briefcases. If y'all know what's in the briefcases, then you know what I'm talking about. So, open your eyes. Pay attention. Because don't think it can't happen here on this soil or your soil across the pond. Because across the pond, it's already starting to spread into other countries from what they're reporting here on our news. So I just say, keep your eyes open, be ready. Make sure you have some natural antibiotics in the house. Um, I'm pretty sure some of my elders can list some natural antibiotics here in, the, here in the comments if you need to know more of them. Make sure you have some Moringa. Make sure you have some pure graviola. Make sure you have some probiotics. Make sure you got Tylenol. Make sure you've got um, Neosporin. Make sure you got needle and thread, a leather belt, flashlights, candles, matches. Plenty of toilet paper. Plenty of stuff you could eat straight out the can. Plenty of stuff you might have to barbecue. And um, so much more. There's just so much more, y'all. But. I'm just thinking of things that are important. Olive oil. Make sure you got olive oil in the house. Um, just be ready. I saw this American troop on a video earlier today, and he was in tears. And he said, um, 
pray for him. So I think this is deeper than what we think. So I don't know. And another question I have for y'all, this is my last question, because someone asked me this today and I don't know the answer to it. And I haven't had time to Google it. The question was, if we have an American civilian in Israel, right? And they were over there touring. Does the American government pay for them to get back home? If you know that answer, please leave your answer down below. Thank you.